Welcome to the TI Inspire CX2 student course. There are more than 30 lessons in this course, ranging from navigating the handheld to inserting images, creating UDFs and installing widgets. You can access the entire series from the Texas Instruments Australia website. In this session, we will look at what's in the box and what you need to get started, including calculator setup, software installation, and updating your calculator's operating system. So let's get started. There are three very important items in the box. The first item is your TI Inspire calculator. It comes with a protective lid, so make sure you slide it on when your calculator's not in use. The second item is your software license. We've placed this inside the calculator lid so you won't lose it. The software allows you to create, edit, and save TI Inspire files on your computer. And then you can transfer them to your calculator, or of course, update the calculator's operating system. The third item is of course the calculator cable. You'll need this to help charge your calculator, transfer files, and update the operating system. Let's start with your calculator. Turn your calculator over, and remove the small plastic battery protection slip. Turn your calculator back over and press the on or home key and give your calculator a few moments to start up. If your calculator doesn't start up, turn the calculator back over again and use a Phillips head screwdriver to undo the screw. Lift the battery out and check to make sure the plastic strip has been completely removed from the battery compartment. Replace the battery, screw the lid back on, and turn your calculator back on again. The first time your calculator turns on, you'll be able to set the language. I'm going to select English UK. Next, I'll set the font size to medium. My calculator is now ready for use. We'll check the operating system later. Next, we'll set up the software. Go to the License Activation Center. The URL is listed on the sticker located on your calculator lid. The software license requires you to set up an account. This makes it much easier if you ever have to change computers or need to reinstall your software. You can use an existing Microsoft or Google account or set one up from scratch using an email address. I'm going to select email address and fill in the details. And now just follow the prompts. Now that your software is installed, adjust the view to suit your needs. There's a follow-up lesson that introduces some of the features on the software. Now, connect your calculator to the computer using the USB cable. As this is the first time your computer has seen the TI Inspire calculator, it may take a few moments to recognise it. Once it has, click on the yellow Contents Explorer folder in the toolbox. The top window in the Explorer folder represents your computer. The bottom window is for your calculator. Select your calculator. Mine's got lots of files on it already. I'll open up the wavy lines file on my calculator by double clicking. This file contains a cool program written by a friend of mine. Now the file is on my computer, I can make changes to it. Save it to my computer, or save it back to the calculator. If you download a TI Inspire file from the internet, you'll now be able to open it on your computer, and save it to your calculator, or email it to someone else. Finally, let's check the operating system on the calculator by pressing the Home button, Option 5 for Settings, followed by Option 4 for Status. If the software version on your calculator is older than the one that you've just downloaded, you can update it using your computer. 
click on the small cog and select Install OS. Select the operating system and follow the prompts. The process only takes a minute or so. If your calculator battery is not fully charged, leave it connected to your computer whilst you explore the software. That way, the battery will continue to charge. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the rest of the series. Thanks for watching.